Riding motorcycles without a helmet is legal in Oklahoma for those over the age of 18, but the Oklahoma motorcycle helmet issue has two sides to it. Some say helmets may save lives, but riders should not have to wear one by law. 69-year-old John Pierce staunchly defends motorcycle riders' choice to wear a helmet. Pierce is the legislative chairman for the American Bikers Active Toward Education, or ABATE, a group of about 1,100 motorcycle enthusiasts in the state. We believe that any motorcyclist has the right to decide whether or not to wear a helmet. The fact is that when you look at the federal government's statistics and the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration, NHTSA, NHTSA's statistics have shown that it is equally safe or dangerous to ride a motorcycle in the states that require helmets as it is in the states that do not require helmets. There is no statistical difference in fatalities. Others say it's a safety issue and helmets should be mandatory. Without a helmet law, insurance rates are affected. Others say helmets should be voluntary, not mandatory. The most recent statistics available from the Oklahoma Highway Safety Office show there were 98 motorcycle fatalities in 2011. Of those killed, 19 people wore helmets and 79 people did not wear helmets. The majority of the crashes that we go to will arrive at a collision scene and someone has not been wearing a helmet. They're usually not in very good shape. Uh, as a matter of fact, a lot of the injuries and, and some of the fatalities we've been on, uh, the motorcycle riders didn't have a helmet on, and, they, and it's our opinion that they would have survived the crash had they had had a helmet on. We do not have a motorcycle helmet law in Oklahoma, but that doesn't mean that we don't think it's important. Um, we do think it's important. We wish everyone would wear a helmet.